Well, clap those hands and praise the Lord, everyone. Before you sit down, hug two or three people, tell them I love you today. Show some love in Jesus' name. Then you may be seated in Jesus' name. Good morning to all of you. I said good morning to everyone. I pray that you woke up refreshed this morning. Have a few announcements to make, but let me first thank God for our praise team and Michael Gridland. Can we also thank God today for real, for the best faithful musicians and Levites. Let me have a little more monitors. I thank God for them. I want every man to stand this morning. I just feel like thanking God for the brothers. Sisters, thank God for the brothers. You may be seated. I saw a few brothers not stand. Y'all made me question you. You one of them. You made me question you. Okay, but in this church, every man knows how you're a man. What determines a man is from your waist down, not your mind. When the doctors bring you, they look at the genitalia and they say, it's a girl, it's a boy. All right, so let me try it again, just in case you didn't hear me. Every man stand this morning. Maybe seated, making sure I got all men playing the musician section too. I even want to thank God for all the women separately. All of the women just stand. Brothers, let's clap for them. We have some guests I would like to acknowledge. Shabak, I said we have guests this morning. I'm gonna start a real membership drive in January. Our church needs to get over 300 stable attendees. We are fluctuating between 160 and 219 every Sunday. Uh, we have to, and I have been not lazy, but I have so much on my plate. My office and those who administrate have tried to get me to incorporate all the skills and knowledge I have for membership. But, but when you're a bishop and you have assignments and you have a leader over you and you talk, talk to me. And you have a busy season and you're as known as I am. You just can't do it all. But I have to attend to my e-members. Can y'all clap for my email? I have to attend.
So that will happen beginning mid-December going into January. Then I have to deal with our new members here so they can get to know who we are. We get to know who they are, find out what their gifts are, find out whether they want to be postured or positioned in a ministry here. Uh, we just need to do the work. So let's clap for our new members who have been patient as well. Uh, Jennifer, this person heard about us through Jennifer Woodbury, who, who is a member of New Life Brooklyn, New York. I like that. They're from Kissimmee. Naomi Johnson, where are you? Stand, Naomi, so we can thank God for Naomi. Come on, Shabak. Really, new life as in, as in, then I got to hug you because he'll get on me. Come here. He's one of my best friends in the world. Can y'all clap for Naomi again? He watches me every Sunday. I don't want to hear his mouth. But he's one of my mentors from afar. Another person from Kissimmee. Well, Naomi Johnson had the nerve not to come alone and invite two guests with her. Lucille Walls, please stand so we can thank God for Lucille. And Michelle Gray, can we thank God for Michelle? Thank all three of you for making this your stop. This person is from Champions Gate, Florida. They are the result of a new member. We have new members, so Brother Nathaniel and Nisha Mason stand. I know where y'all are stand, the Masons. They brought with them Sarah Campbell. Please stand, Sarah, we love you. Hey, y'all keep bringing me that color. Y'all just keep going till this whole church fade out. Because when white people or light-skinned folk join, they join for real. Yeah, come on, man. Keep doing, doing that. That's what I'm talking about. Orlando, Florida. Our member, Sharice Lane. Stan, Sharice, we love you. Good to see you. She brought a member. I'm going to mess this name up. Huh. Karanita Kosnav. Kosnav. No, no. Tell me how to say it. Karanita, last name. Kaznave. Be seated. We rewind it. Play. So Sharice Lane brought a member with her. It is Karenita Kasnave. Kasnave, please stand so we can scream for her. This next guest is from Deltona, Florida. They are a visitor of one of my good sons, Dari. Where are you, Dari Evans? Where you at? Y'all clap for Dari. Her name is named after my blood sister and spelled the same. Siobhan Sanders. Where are you, Siobhan? Can we clap for Siobhan? Lord, birthdays in November. And before I do that, let, let me go here. Someone has a wedding anniversary this month. November the 17th, they will have celebrated 51 years of marriage. Brother and Mother Lockett, stand please. Come on, 51 years. He's got to tell us his secret. One day we need to hear the secret. I don't want to hear from the woman's point of view. I want to hear from the man's point of view. 
because men get bored quick. And I need to know, I, I need your secret. Y'all look like wonderful Bopsy twins on this morning. Let's give it up to them, 51 years. November the 20th, Monty Lundy will have another birthday clap. November 25th, Shanice Wallace will have a birthday. November 26th, two people, Christiani Jenkins and Charity Atcher. You notice none of the young people want you to tell their age. Ain't no ages on here. And November the 27th, Tatiana Pollard. Pollard? Oh, in the back. Hey! She's been on the road driving. Tractor trailers also driving famous stars in the country land. She travels the country but she's a faithful tither and member of this church. I love Tatiana. There are a few members out because they actually own businesses. They are working at Classic Week. This is Classic Weekend. We have food trucks. We have other businesses that, that are out there doing the work. Members who have jobs, members who are here who are going to be leaving here going straight to work uh, because they have to make sure all is well down there. The Magic Mall had parking for $150. I never, 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 not never. And what? And vending for $1,000. for $8,000, vending per day? For the whole three days? No, I got some higher prices downtown. Mm -mm. Yeah, so, you know, let's pray that all of our members make good money this weekend. Thank God for our executive pastor this morning. To our assistant pastor, to our senior father, Dr. Barbara, to Elder Javon Ferguson, thank you so much, Minister Katrina. Last Sunday, last Sunday, I viewed from Chicago one of the greatest preaching voices of our day, Elder Denitra Eddings. She was exquisite. Hold the music. Excellent. No fluff. Stay with the text. Obedient. Very spiritual. We should applaud her one more good time in Jesus' name. And if anyone is jealous of excellence, you really need a shrink. because nothing is better in your life than an example. So if you ever feel that you are supposed to preach behind this sacred desk, please use as a reference what you saw on last Sunday. Amen? Amen. She even forwarded me her entire sermon. I did not change it. I did not grade it, but the mere fact that she would submit it shows that she wants to be in order. I don't hear nobody and in line.
you that clap, I hope God pay off your house notes or something because that's just beautiful. Elder Charles Curry, we all know him, shout hallelujah. He may be watching, he may not, but he lost his grandmother on this week who is very precious to him. I have not called him yet because of the plethora of calls that he would be getting out of concern or false concern. I like my call to be separate as I told Father Hope because I like to put icing on his cake, but we are praying for him, his wife, his son, the Curry family in Detroit, all over Michigan. Come on, clap better. She died at 95, y'all. She died at 95. She was called home. That'd be a good age for me. 95 years young, she has seen it all believe her name was Mother Lewis. If I'm right, I believe it was Lewis, but I didn't ask him, but I did my research, but we're praying for he, his family, because a grandmother's a special gift. A grandmother's a special gift. My big, big mom died, we call her big mom. My big mommy died when she was 94 my daddy's still alive. I want y'all in constant prayer for my father. Will y'all do that for me? Don't want to share much, but will y'all do that for your pastor? His name is Aaron Hall, A-A-R-O-N. In case you want to get deep and call him by name, Aaron. You don't have to tell God, Mr. But pray for your pastor's father, because I believe God for great things. Once again, in case he's watching, we want the Curry family to know we love you all and we're praying for you. The Bible. I gotta try to get, get my church back. Because her and Pastor Hope that Pastor Jay and her, they up to something. Yeah, y'all up. But it ain't going to happen, at least not right now. Almost, almost. I will do it at the end. Genesis chapter 40. Verses 18 through 23. And then Genesis chapter 41. Verses 33 through 34. And then Genesis chapter 39. Verses 20 through 23. And then Genesis chapter 41 again. Verse 46. Father Hope, stand up. You clean today. Nice, nice shoes, dog. Now I see where Joe get his dance, his dressing from. Genesis chapter 40, beginning at verse 18. Father, bless us in Jesus' name. Amen. Joseph answered and said, This is the interpretation thereof. The three baskets are three days. Yet within three days shall Pharaoh lift up thy head from off thee, shall hang thee on a tree. The bird shall eat thy flesh from off thee. Yes, then it shall come to pass on the third day, which Pharaoh's birthday, was Pharaoh's birthday, that he made a feast unto all his servants, 
He lifted up the head of the chief butler, which means he restored him and promoted him. And of the chief baker among his servants. And he restored the chief butler unto his butlership again. Look somebody and tell him, restoration is coming. Now only talk to who's friendly this morning. He restored the chief butler unto his butlership again. That word butler for ten folk who catch it simply means promotions come to those who serve. Will you articulate it to somebody? Promotion comes to those who serve. And he gave the cup back into Pharaoh's hand. And but he hanged the chief baker. And Joseph, as Joseph had interpreted to them, yet did not, please underscore, the chief butler remember Joseph. But he forgot it. Some of you come to church every Sunday with the same face. Fix it. You might get a date after church if you fix it. Some of you women look too mean for anybody to say, would you like to eat? You pay for that smile. Use it. Verse 23, yet did not the chief butler remember Joseph, but forgot him. Now let's peruse and journey over to Genesis 41, and let's get a little more meat for the story. This is a part of our Bible study for you that could not make it. Verse 33 through 44. Now therefore Pharaoh took out a man who was discreet and wise and set him over the land of Egypt. Let Pharaoh do this and let him appoint officers over the land and take up a fifth part of the land of Egypt in seven years of plenteous years. That's all I want to read. Emphasis on verse 33. Bible study, I'll go back to this. Now therefore let Pharaoh look out a man or look for a man with two qualities. Discretion, I don't hear nobody. And wisdom, and those are the type of people you place over things. Not gifted and talented. Those are the folk who normally mess up things. But what a gift and talent will not do, discretion and wisdom will Genesis chapter 39 beginning at verse 20 Joseph master took him and put him into the prison this is where he met the butler and the baker a place come on Shabbat catch it where the king's prisoners were bound, not general population. See, some of y'all preach, but you don't study. You preach to make points, not to build people. Because to build people, you have to go into a little depth. Underscore the term, king's prisoners. And he was there in the prison. I like verse 21 how it opens for talkers. But the Lord was with Joseph. Look at somebody tell me even in bondage I'm alright. Even alone I'm alright. Even temporarily unemployed. I'm going to preach. I'm okay. Even newly divorced, not even looking for another right now. I'm good. In my worst situation, I'm all right. Help me, 
The Lord was with Joseph, showed him mercy. Gave him favor. Look at this. In the sight, hold on, of the keeper of the prison. Who's supposed to be mistreating me is treating me well. That's when you know you have favor when your assassins become your assistants. I'm almost there. Look at somebody tell them I need some mercy. That's when your mercenaries start treating you like your friend. Now I'm a loud preacher and I'm about to get loud because I'm excited. Because November is not over yet. And God made a promise. And he's already began fulfilling in a mighty way his promises. Will you articulate to your neighbor who don't talk to people all week but make them learn how to socialize and tell them God's favor is on your life. Now you have to know what to do with that favor. Some of you don't know what to do with it. Verse 21, but the Lord was with Joseph, showed him mercy and gave him favor in the sight of the keeper of the prison. And then favor began to do something to Joseph in prison that is a convicted rapist. He's a convicted. He has the worst penalty in the prison system. And when you mess with children and rape, they really do you wrong. I don't hear nobody in the prison system. He is supposed to be ravaged. He's supposed to be done dirty. I want to preach, but y'all look tired. But look what the keeper of the prison did. He committed to Joseph's hands all the prisoners that were in prison and whatsoever they did, he had to give them permission to do it. Look at that other neighbor because the first neighbor ain't get happy with you and tell them I'm running things even in the condition I'm in. Tell them I'm in charge even though I've got charges. Will you let them know that I'm in charge? I want to preach. I'm in charge even with all these charges. Verse 23. The keeper of the prison looked not at anything that was under his hand. He did not go behind Joseph for anything. Why? Because the Lord was with him. And that which Joseph did, the Lord made it. Y'all not reading it. What these screens up here for? The Lord made him prosper even behind bars. That means he's got more money on his books than anybody. That means his cage is never locked. That means he doesn't have to have lights off. He's living free in a bound situation. Some folk don't like you because even in the condition you're in, You're living like you're free. I'm broke, but I ain't going to look it. I'm sorry. I'm I'm, I'm sad, but I ain't got enough tears to cry in your face. Some of you make prophesying easy because you look like what you're going through. You make it easy. Some of you women look like you need a hug. You need a man. You look like it. 
Some of you look like you've been abused. You don't smile, you don't move, you've been staunch all... What's wrong? Don't let the past make you serve a lifetime sentence. Oh, they didn't... Chapter 41, verse 46 only. Joseph was 30 years old when he stood before Pharaoh, king of Egypt. 30. Look at somebody and tell them, you got to get out of it by an expired time. Tell them, if you ain't out of it by a certain time, you're going to serve for a lifetime. Now, I'm going to use, now I'm not going to read it, but I'm going to use Acts' story in chapter 16 about Paul and Silas. And I want to pronounce upon at least 50 out of the 160 of you these words and see if you will jump. I want some of you out by midnight. Look at the city. Midnight when? Tonight. I want, I want your posture to change by the morning. Your facial expressions your positions on your job. I just want you to look victorious for the rest of your life. Some of the chains that hold you back are nothing but people who won't let things go be seated. I have two or three people that just can't let certain things go and their objective in life is to make sure I serve time. When people can't get out of you what they want, they will make sure no one else gets it out of you either. But I want to say to five people who will jump and then sit down, case dismissed. The song says, whatever the problem, you can solve them. They will come, but don't you worry. It will work out. Some of y'all in the back look lost for the good of them. You have to love the Lord. And you can't love him only when things are going well. You got to love them when all hell is breaking loose. Look up towards the ceiling which God is in the north and just clap and tell him I love you Lord. And Joseph went out from the presence of Pharaoh went throughout all the land of Egypt. This is a new series on sowing and reaping. In Bible study, our teaching is exiting the famine to enter the harvest. That's a separate series every Wednesday connected to the series. The topic this morning for 10 folk who will jump for me is from cages to wages. Now I want to talk about... <laughs> prison is a cage. It's a cell. It's, it's a boundary. It's limitations it's it's supposed to hold you back but if you believe what i said jump up and say i'm going from cages to wages It is so important that we understand the process of salvation and success. Lord, give me three people that have talked to me for 10 minutes, that's all. They should go hand in hand. You should not be serving a mighty God and be broke all the time. A mighty God and be sick all your life. He's a heart fixer. He's a mind regulator. 
Come on, old saints. He's a burden bearer. Heavy load carrier. Come with me. He's a bridge over troubled water. Doctor in the sick room. I find him to be that. Lawyer in the courtroom. Bread for the hungry, water for the thirsty, friend to the friendless. But above all of that, he's a God that cannot lie. And he can do anything but fail. They should go hand in hand, salvation and success. Within both of these, there will come times that you will say to yourself, why are things going this way? If I'm living right, why are things going so wrong? I can't get you to talk. If I'm sowing my seed and tithing, why am I broke and seem like there's nothing coming in? Sometimes right does not produce right right away. Oh, y'all, sometimes right will give you over to something wrong and say, hold them for me. Look at someone, if that's your friend, and tell them I'm in my holding cell. I'll be out after a while. Everything can be in a hole. Ask a pilot. He'll put a plane in a holding pattern. And when you're in that holding pattern, you're not standing still. You're going around in a circle. And some of you just feel like your life is going around in a circle. Between salvation and success. I'm getting out of here. You will have regrets. Those regrets will turn into reasons. Those reasons will turn into results. After you get your results from my three members, you will get what we call uh, uh, compensated for all the things you have been through. Lord, bless them that are eating this meal healthily. Where you believe that you are being held back should be seen as what you're being held for. Because if God loose some of us too early, we go in the direction he has not planned for us to go. We don't mean no harm, but we start taking control of our own process and we get deeper and deeper in a hole. The steps of a good man. Y'all preaching with me today. They are ordered. Good to see you, Dre. By the Lord. Time. Somebody shout time. Time has an assignment in your life. And time's assignment is to teach you how to utilize the time you have left. can't get up because your first round with time you wasted time be honest stop acting deep like you ain't wasted time with certain things certain people certain journeys certain ventures but you told God if you give me one more chance That's why the time 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 7, 9, 10, 11 comes around twice a day. You got an AM. I ain't going to mess with y'all because y'all ain't pushing me. And you have a PM. 
you have two times at the same time to make up for what you messed up on the first half. So whatever you did at 1 a.m., don't do that on your 1 p.m. That's called next time around. Can I ask you a question and see by your participation in voice or movement that how many people promise you will do better the next time around? Yep, not a lot of you, but I'm glad for the honesty because you that are just using hands and no mouth, it's not real. You can get mad, but it's not real. That's what you did last week. Your praise is the same. Your face is the same. The posture is the same. Ain't nothing changed. So why, God, so why should God put an old you in a new situation? We should not put new wine in an old wine skin. Because it will be wasted. Let me say this for those who are going to be saved and successful. If you know it's you, you will scream on this. First thing I want you to learn is who not to waste time on. They've got to be handled. They have to be able to handle the free you and the you that's charged. Uh-oh, hold on, Nazi. Oh, I ain't going to come with no kindergarten stuff. I need you to be my friend when I'm up on charges. Then we can hang out after I get free. Because right now I'm serving time to learn what to do with my time. You read Genesis 40 with me, and I'm almost done, but you read Genesis 40 with me. It talked about him helping a butler and a baker and him interpreting their dreams to mean one of you will be restored, the other will be dead. One of you, and believe me, when two folk hang out, it's normally split in half. One benefits the other one never succeeds. Look at somebody get selfish and tell them if it's between you and I, I've got to choose me on this afternoon. See, you don't even know how to tell them. You so saved, right, to where your success can't talk. See, folk who are just saved, they have compassion on everyone. Successful people know the journey of what it takes to be saved. So we're telling you, if I've got to count on between you and I, I'm counting on me. Because I know at the end of the day, I'll help you. But I ain't sure if you will ever help me. Why? Because I serve better than you. I'm coming from the position of servitude. I don't have to be seen. My name does not have to be called. I don't need a mic in my hand proving I can. Ah, Lord, I don't need that. Now, some of you saying amen, I'm never going to say your name, but you need too much attention. You've not served yet. You've been seen well. Serving means wash your pastor's car. On your day off, come do some work. That's serving. I enjoyed when I was young serving my leaders. They didn't give us no mics. They gave us the keys. Warm up the car. Come help me cut the grass. I'm, 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 I'm so sorry. Let me come back. 
And what Joseph finds out about serving these two people, the butler and the baker, for one screamer, not all of you, he finds out that the one that gets restored forgets him. So let me say this and see if you scream. Being forgotten is a part of the process. Because the, because the story is really about you. The others are just characters in your story. They only have a name because they're in your story. Aside from them, I mean, if they were not in your story, in your business, positive or negative, their names would not even be mentioned. You are only as protected in prison as whose cellmate you have. Who's your cellmate? I think I'm born, y'all, this middle section. Because if you don't have a strong mate, you're going to get shanked. You need somebody that has your back so you can sleep and not have to sleep with one eye open because you on the top bunk. They on the bottom. The person sitting next to you this afternoon can, can, can become the cause of you living or dying. So look at them real well without fear. Don't y'all look at the mothers because they'd be like, turn your head around. So don't bother the second row. Let them have beef with one another. Because when mothers used to look at me mean, I couldn't stand being with them in church. Couldn't stand them. My father said, what's wrong? I can't stand her. Because when does mean become synonymous with a mother? Mother's supposed to be sweet. Compassionate, kind, when you're a mother, you birth things you have to raise. Mm. Can't stand them. It's funny that the people you help the most are the ones that forget you the quickest. But please don't get too angry. Don't let this fester. Come on, talk to me. This is a part of the succeeding process. Is God does not want to give anyone credit like that over why you became who you are. You gave them $5,000. They never said thank you or paid it all back. They gave you 20 and said, remember when I gave you $20? What in the world? If we exchange who helped who for real and pulled out a ledger and detailed, y'all don't want to talk, the help. But you that are truly diligent and love God and serve him, God won't let you do that. And what's crazy about what he expects out of us, I can't get help, is he makes us do it again. Even when we say, I'm through, God says, I need you to bless the butler. I need you to bless the baker. Y'all ain't talking. God said, I will not let you that serve me right out of what you're in until you can keep blessing those people and it not affect you. I don't need the old you coming out, stepping into a new position. He forgot him. But then God devised a plan. See, you didn't see that. No one ever preached it. The plan that God had for Joseph to get out after serving 13 years. And you read where he got out at 30 and stood before Pharaoh. What God did 
was he made, I'm going to see who screams, Pharaoh's dream more serious than Joseph's charges. Now I'm almost there. I'm, I'm about to leave, y'all. He, he made Pharaoh. Why is Bishop dressed so clean this morning? Because I want to show you what going from cages to wages looks like. Not about clothes. You go from the orange jumpsuit to jumping into your own business. I want 10 of you who know you, that, that you're about to change your clothes in the spirit to jump up and say, I'm putting on some better garments. <laughs> Got up this morning to put on some leisure clothes and God said, dress like you on Wall Street. I said, okay. I said, for what reason? He says, because I want them to understand that when they're going someplace and you're going to sit at tables with pharaohs, with people who can position you in top positions, you don't come dress and do your hair like you're crazy. You dress for where you're going. Looking at some of your hairstyles, I'm being honest, I wouldn't hire you. I can't. Because you're still with the trends instead of with success. You're trendy. You're not mature. You're not wise. You're not discreet. You fluctuate too much. You're 50 trying to dress 20. You're 20 trying to vet dress 60. Y'all exchanging roles. Parents should look like parents and children should look like children. That is facts when you become wise. I'm a grown man, all grown men. You just ain't going to see me in no tiny pants. Just not happening. Come here. He can do this. You will never see me dressed like that. And if you are dressed like that at my age, you out of here because something wrong with you. You only got a few years left anyway. Boom, boom. The dream was more, uh, 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 had more weight to it than Joseph's charges. When I say this, and y'all have blessed me this morning because I'm almost through. There are people who don't like you, but's going to need you. Because God is making the need greater than the charges. Your friends would bless you, but they don't have the money. They don't have a new car to give you. It's different when who loves you don't have what you need. But who has it is the wicked. Those who are adverse. Those who are contrary. And God says, I will make them your footstool. But you've got to learn how to behave while you're serving time. Look at somebody and tell them, this is all about time. I want to show you something else because I want to get out of here come here come here uh, come here and stand there put your phone somewhere and face me and uh, back up from me you're too close I don't know you like that and then come here no no you can't come over there come here uh, Frankie and stand over there back up some more and I know y'all are men, but I used to jump double dutch when I was 
Okay, so you jumped to you. All right, that's why I chose you two. Had no idea. Act like you have the ropes in your hand, but don't move them. Okay? Turn them. If y'all used to. Yeah. Uh -huh. Have to be in the same rhythm. You got to look at your partner. You can't look down. This is called time. When I get in the picture and it's my time to jump in, time is different from timing. Oh, hold on. You can't just jump in. Because you have to study what's going on. Some of you, I know you're in the holding cell because in church when the music's playing and the rope is spinning, you don't move. Then you get jealous of those that come to church ready. Be like, Lord, why are they jumping all around? Because it's timing. And some of you are frustrated because it is your time. And the rope says it's your turn. But your posture says you have bad time. When you're discreet, you use timing. You know what to say, how to say it, who to say it to. You don't say everything because you're mad. I got to get this off my chest. You're not rude. You don't allow your emotions to steer your life. When you're discreet, you give that over to wisdom. And wisdom tells anger, serve time. Y'all ain't. Wisdom tells. Oh, Y'all are real quiet. Shut your mouth. If, if they make you cuss, don't hang with them. If they, if they make you want to fight, leave. Did, you're not a punk. You're wise. Those who are not always wind up saying, see what you made me do. If I can make you hit me, I should have been able to make you get a job. If I can make you hit me, I should make you pay the rent. Why is only your anger out of control? Where is your wisdom? You're supposed to say, I'm preaching now because I'm talking to you. Yeah, that's when you say I'm preaching, when I'm talking to you. It's got to go. You're too angry. You got delivered from the worst thing and went into a worse place. What in the world? Are y'all doing allowing the old you to behave just long enough to get out on good behavior to be the same you after you get out? in Christ no no it's a difference in Christ being in you see that salvation you being in Christ is wisdom now you are a new creature all things are passed away I can't and behold All things. Have become new. He, 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 he's in jail because he goes in at 17. And God knows, for those who will talk to me, that a 17-year-old is not wise enough to run the economy of all of Egypt. 
Oh, yeah. Some of you may see your future, but you're not in it. You're seeing it so you can now do what's necessary to prepare yourself to become what you see. You don't do that by spending time with people who can't see what you see. Y'all have let the wrong people be your glasses. I need to talk to you. you. You've allowed the wrong people to become your lenses. Well, you don't need that car. You probably need this car. They don't know your budget. They're not even paying for gas. Why do you even ask the opinion of people that don't have what it is that you possess? Y'all do know, let me say this in short because you're taking me away from my sermon. People are nothing but spirits wrapped up in visibility, right? I'm making it real plain. So every time you bring a person into your life, you invite a spirit into your situation, right? And when their flesh leaves, their spirit stays. Now, I know you don't understand that. That's why you can leave a man be done with him and still feel the hurt he caused a year later because his spirit is still there. That's why you waste a lot of money buying a new house because you don't want to be in the house he was in. Are you crazy? I'm going to create a new bill. He gone. What you need to do is serve time. Walk through every room and say, the blood of Jesus, I rebuke that. Why are you picking up a new mortgage off of a dead relationship? Change the mattress. That's cool, but the mattress might be expensive. They didn't lay just on the mattress. They laid on the sheet. Burn the sheets. Keep the mattress. Some of you are just too immature. And your immaturity is costing you a lot of money. I used to have my hair like us, but never again. Why not? It's a hairstyle. Who gets the compliments? I'm tired of him comparing me to others. That's because you act like them instead of being you. When you're yourself, ain't nobody to compare you to. This, 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 this me. Look somebody and tell them I need to serve a little more time. I just found that out. Some of you are about to start succeeding in a locked up situation. And how I want to say it for the screamers, men and women, you're going to prosper even in prison. Now I'll break that down. I'm going to change a prison term to show you why Joseph, the Bible said the Lord was with Joseph while he was in prison. The Lord was with Joseph, the Bible said, and showed him mercy and anything he said would happen, happened while he was in prison. He's in prison, but he's in a special prison. It's called the king's prison. He is not in gen pop. He's not in general population. I might as well say this to 34 who will clap for yourself. The reason why you're really frustrated is you are hanging out with general population. Who are they? They're average. They're below average. They have nothing good to talk about. You are hanging out with folk that only get drunk, smoke, but don't ever become effective. By the next day, they do a nine to five, come back, drink and smoke again. They don't have any successful friends. They don't have any business proposals. They don't have any doctors, lawyers as friends. They don't have keys to get out of something if they got put in. Every person is a key to something. They're either key to set you free or key to lock you up. He succeeds behind bars. He prospers in prison because the Lord is with him. But here is what's actually crazy about it. There's a term in prison that, that when people love you, visit you, or don't, and you have to be in there for a while, 
this is what they say, then I'm going to tell you what I say, and then we're three quarters done and 80 you all to scream. They say, hey, man, put money on my books. But I want to say to you that a save and servant, money's in the book. I'm almost there. If you obey what is written, yo, and meditate on it day and, oh, yo, you shall have good success. Some of you keep looking for relationships that will put money on your book. Instead of building relationships with people that know there's money in the book. Let me just get raunchy. I tried to keep it holy, but y'all didn't talk to me. Some of you women rather have a man on you than into you, right? On is a different word than in. If he's into you, it ain't just about your body and all of that. If he's on you, it's about what he's on. If I get on a horse, I'm riding it. If I'm into horses, I'm nurturing it. I'm, I'm washing it. I'm, 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 I'm giving it some hay. I'm making sure that it's sheltered properly. Joseph is in prison learning, believe it or not, the economy. Yeah, I hear some of y'all. The way you know he's learning economics is the people that are having dreams are dreaming about reciprocation restoration replenishing and he's interpreting their dreams all right i'll i'll, I'll make it simple for all of you that have great jobs and managers sitting here like you managing the service right principals vice principals acting like you're running the school when right now you're just a child of God who still need more money, more love, more affection, more wisdom, more guidance, but you're going to floss and big capping up in here like your life is okay. Let us pull most of your credit histories, all of you. That don't mean nothing. No, discretion is found in a credit report. Because if your history is 400, 500, it lets us know what you've been spending on, how often you paid, uh, were you faithful and diligent. If it's in the 800s going higher, it lets somebody know you've got a level of discipline that says, I don't need to put a lot of money down uh, because I kept my character up, right? Oh, yeah. Economics needs to be studied. I dare not ask you your credit and name the scores because then you'll get hit on by broke folks. So let's move forward. The Lord showed me you were co-signed for me. The Lord. Well, let me tell you why I can't help you right now. Why? I'm on lockdown. And if you still around when I come out, because I got some charges I got to beat. Y'all ain't talking. I, I got some charges. Joseph dreamt one time two dreams. He goes in jail to translate two other people's dreams. Then he gets out of jail, y'all missing it, by another man dreaming. Everything Joseph is getting is attached to someone else's dream. Not his dream. 
if he doesn't help someone else with their dream, his name does not get passed to the king. See, your dreams got you in jail. Their dreams get you out. Uh-oh, it just got quiet. I got to fulfill my dream. You don't fulfill your dream. God fulfills your dream. Your job is to help someone else fulfill theirs. And when you do, they'll say, I thank God for you. It's all about God at the end of the day. I want to talk to talkers. All things work together. All things mean even bad. Bad can work out for your good. Evil can work out for your good. What the devil meant for evil. Give me 30 folk with a mouth. God, when his brother sold him into Egypt and they saw him 13 years later, they thought Joseph would kill them because he's the second man in charge. He could put them in jail, do to them what they did to him. But instead, he looked at them and testified. He scared them first. I am Joseph, your brother. Then when they recognized it was, they thought he would do him evil. Joseph said, I'll tell you this. I'm about to bless you. They said, why? Because what you meant for my evil. God meant it for my good. Late in the midnight hour. God's going to turn it around. It's going to work. E flat. Y'all forgot y'all in the Pentecostal church. Ain't nobody in prison meaning none for nobody's good. Everybody trying to survive. And if they in there for life, everybody trying to be the top dog so that they can control the prison. But for five of you who will jump and scream, your name is Michael Jackson. You in control. It could be Janet, whichever one wrote it. You in control even when you're not living up to par, even when you're in a lockdown situation. What makes you in control is the Lord. The Lord is with you. Yay, though I walk through the valley. Of the shadow of death. I want y'all to fear no evil. Not going to quote it. Just tell somebody the best is yet to come. They walk over. To Joseph. And they say to Joseph. We be sad because. We don't know or understand our dreams. Joseph said, in three days, things are going to shift. And I say to everybody in here this afternoon, in three days. That's right before Thanksgiving. Y'all need women. In three days, things are going to shift. And I still want to say to some of y'all that what the devil meant for your evil. God is going to turn it around for your good. Look at somebody, high five them if they're that type of person and tell them it's all good. The one whose head got severed from his neck It's because he had no intention of ever remembering Joseph. But the one 
who got restored that was a butler, he had intentions on remembering Joseph because there's no such thing as forgetting if at first you didn't remember. Y'all on the slow bus. The first one was using him for his gift. The other one just got caught up with his restoration. That he forgot all about Joseph. But who he was working for. Name Pharaoh. Started complaining about discomfort. He had insomnia. He could not get two hours of pleasant sleep. The other man that was the butler saw magicians coming in and out of the king's palace. He began to speak to the magicians and said to them, why all of y'all keep on walking in and out of the king's chamber? Ah, ah, mm. And one of them probably said to the butler, the king is very disturbed. Because the butler is serving the king, he probably said, what is the king's concern? Yes, and uh, ah, the butler said to the magician, what is the king trying to get an understanding about? Yes, and uh, the king told the magician, uh, if uh, you can just bring uh, uh, understanding to my dream, uh, I will give you a promotion and more than you've ever had. Uh, ooh, oh, 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 Lord, uh, wow! Good God Almighty, the king uh, could not get an understanding from magicians. Could not get an understanding from the soothsayer. Uh, could not get an understanding from tarot cards. Could not get an understanding from burning sage. Uh, uh, yes Lord uh, he told uh, the magicians uh, ask the king can I give him a reference now his memory is coming back give me more uh, his memory is coming back to him and uh, he walks into the king's chamber and says uh, I know a man Yes, Lord, uh, who has power to interpret your dreams. And uh, the king named Pharaoh uh, looked at the man and said, if you knew somebody with that type of power, why did you hold back on telling me about him? Oh Lord and uh, uh, the magicians, uh, soothsayers, tarot card readers, and sage burners. They sat in the room listening uh, to this butler talk to the king about a man that could help him. The king said, I'm almost done, Tiffany. Who is uh, the man that you're talking about? Yes, Lord, look at somebody and tell them your name is about to be brought up at a good table around good people. Tell them, oh, get ready to come out of what you're in right now. God's not through with you. I ain't preaching, but I'm on my way to hippity hop. I said, God is not through with you. Why y'all ain't telling people give me gain outside and tell him God is not through with you. 
as a matter of fact if the person loves you make them your partner for the next 11 seconds or minutes and say please be patient with me God is not through with me yet when God gets through with me I shall come forth as pure gold if that person near you didn't get happy forget who they are and find you somebody else with power and tell them I'm going from cages to wages tell them it's how I carried myself while I was in lockdown that's going to determine where I'm going after I get out of here and tell them just in case you don't remember my coming out date it's within 72 hours my dreams are about to come to pass before the month of November's over so don't judge me for my behavior I'm acting free before I get out of what I'm in and if anybody ask you if anybody ask you what's the matter with me tell them I'm saved sanctified uh, Holy Ghost filled and fire baptized I've got Jesus on my side lean on somebody and tell them you ain't my cellmate because you're not encouraging you're trying to keep me in what I'm trying to get out of you can keep the cell but as for me I'm pressing on the upward way new heights I'm gaining every day no higher place that I have found Lord y'all get out of my church Lord Lord plant my feet on higher ground shake a neighbor like a salt shaker and tell your neighbor I just heard that you're about to get out on good behavior what does good behavior looks like you praise him while you're broke you clap while you're unemployed you scream while you heard you had cancer and let the devil know it ain't over yet I've got another round coming I've served time but now time's about to serve me it's time for some of y'all to be happy it's time for some of y'all to be free it's time for some of you to be entrepreneurs lean on your neighbor and tell them it ain't just my time it's my turn tell them I feel it in my spirit that before Thanksgiving God's gonna bring me out of this when he's trying me when he's trying me when he's trying me I shall come forth as pure gold lean on somebody and tell your neighbor you acting like you're coming out tell them this ain't a act I'm taking off this orange suit and I'm putting on a Versace Fendi Louis Louis Vuitton the next time you see me I'm coming out decked out from the crown of my head to the sole of my feet Yo need to find somebody and shake their hands up and say congratulations on 
surviving the worst season of your life. If that person didn't get excited, find somebody else and say, oh, oh, oh neighbor, congratulations on surviving the worst season of your life. You ought to tell your neighbor, before this, I was just a number. When they called me, they said one, two, seven, five, eight, T. But when I come out of this, I'm getting my name back. Dr. So-and-so, Mr. So-and-so, Professor So-and-so, put something in front of your name. CEO, boss lady, be something the devil said you could never be. Come out of there with your hands up, clapping in your hands, dancing in your feet, joy in your soul, peace in your mind. Is there anybody here who loves my Jesus? Is there anybody here who loves the Lord? I tried him. Just grab somebody's hand if they look friendly and say, I And watch how they act for 20 seconds. I said, say these two words to your neighbor. And watch how they talk for one minute. And say, case dismissed. Tell them whatever you've been charged with, whatever you've been brought up on, God told me to tell you, all charges drop. The devil is a liar. Yeah, 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 yeah. The devil is a liar.
My soul is resting. It's just another blessing. Tell your neighbor, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I'm free. That's the song. It says, I'm free. Praise the Lord. I'm free. No longer bound. No more chains holding me. My soul is resting. It's just a blessing. Y'all finish it. Praise the Lord. No, come on, free people. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Ah, I'm free. Oh, oh, oh. I want to close with this until Wednesday. I want to have a I keep hearing all charges dropped. Will you share that with at least two people in your space? All charges dropped. Tell them, I don't care what the charge is. I don't care what it is. I don't need no details. All I want you to know is the worst is over. And the best. If you believe it's over, shout it's over. Hold hands with one or two people, but look at me. Bye-bye. I'm excited about your future. You that are watching, I am extremely excited about your future. I don't care what the charges are. Listen to what I tell you, Mahashianda. I got to, I'm sorry, I have to pause. I have to do something. God said, allow 30 of the people present who know that the next 72 hours are important to your life. Tell them, give me their last dance in an old situation. You've got 30 seconds.
When the music stops, look at someone and say, neighbor, I understand your praise, but you don't have to understand mine. Tell them I've served more time than I should have served. And I've been waiting to hear about my release. And because I believe that I shall. Praise him, son. Praise him, Minister Sheely. The mom, praise him. Wait! 
Hold someone's hand, I'll finish this on next Sunday, but I'll be in Bible study on Wednesday. Lord, I love you. Yes, I love you. How I love you. I really love you just for who you are in all of your glory. My heart sings holy, holy. You are everything I need you to be. You are everything I need you to be. You are the great I am. You are the great I am. From the top, Lord, I love you. Yes, I love you. How I love you. I really love you. Just for who you are. Just for who you are. In all of your glory. My heart sings. My heart sings. Holy, holy. Holy, holy. Tell them you are everything I need. softly heads bowed next Sunday we still on sowing and reaping I'll preach he dropped the charges next Sunday he dropped the charges I got to get some things off of your kingdom credit so that you can get more seed need God to strike some things off of our record that we've done wrong that have stopped us from succeeding from me down the word of God misses no one we've all been victims of a crisis you are everything I need you to be you are the great I am 
we've all been victims of a crisis but remember Jesus paid it all it is my heart's desire not just of my friends family but even for my enemies that they will succeed but that my enemies will not triumph over me I wish no evil on anyone I just told someone that they can take it for what it is I've been treated real bad over the years, but I've never prayed bad on any person because I walk in wisdom and I walk in discretion. Next Sunday, we'll find out what that is. Discretion. We'll find out what wisdom is. We'll find out how they intertwine, intertwine and how they're going to help you on your journey. Some of you don't believe it, but the next 72 hours are gonna be beautiful. I'll say it again, the next 72 hours is gonna be beautiful. You have to learn to believe it when it's being spoken and stop waiting on proof. These are your dreams your visions, your ambitions, your aspirations. These are the results of your faith, your worship. Your heads are bowed, your eyes are closed. On this Sunday, I'm gonna ask, and I mean out of 160 something I was told. Is that what I was told? I'm gonna ask that at least 100 of us sold $40 on this morning for your Taruma offering, for your gift. If you desire to give more, one member just bless me with a thousand dollars. I'm happy about it too. But out of all of you that are here, I need four, I need a hundred of you to come now and so forty dollars. Don't sit, even if you do it with your phone. Don't sit. We walk here because we like to be examples. I need a hundred of our members. You that are online, I need all of you to do the same today. That would be a blessing to the kingdom. Thank God for all my fellas and all my colleagues and my homies coming out this morning. That blessed my heart. I need you to be. You are the grave. Elder Jackson gave $100. If you want to match it, you can. But I'm asking all the members to do due diligence. At least give a $40 seed. Thank you, Dr. Gloria. Thank you, Shante. The great I am. Great I am. Again, you're everything. You are everything. I need you to be. I need you to be. You are the great. The great. Everyone standing. If you have not given 40, give your best. Whatever your best is you want to give. Because this is how you get. Practice that principle and come now. Or keep it. We don't believe folk are cursed for not giving. You just serve more time. When people don't pay their tithe the right way and don't sow the right way. You work hard for your money. And your money never works hard for you. You're everything I need you to be. You are the great, great I am. Oh, you're everything.
pray over the offering, gentlemen, in Jesus' name. While we're about to have the last announcement and close, please turn to our wonderful uh, mission statement of our church. Hallelujah. Turn to the mission statement of our church. I want all eyes on the screen, or if you know it by heart by now, I feel this coming to pass. Do y'all feel this coming to pass? I didn't hear jubilant claps, but do you feel it coming to pass? No, no, I really do. I really do. I feel a shift in the atmosphere. Some of you have peace even while you're in fried grease. You should be seven degrees. You should have first degree burns. But you look like you came out with a tan. And when the Lord has tried you, you're in the trying season. You and I shall come forth as gold. Can I get a witness? Thank you for your giving you that online. Thank you for sowing. Let's read. Remember the relationship between a pastor and the congregation is a partnership with mutual respect and support being essential for the health of the church. Digest that. I never want you saying it and not meditating on it. Pray for your church and your leader every day. Can I say that again? Pray for your church and your leader and leaders every day. We need it because people are expecting from us more than we're able to give. But thank God for mercy. Let's read again. Remember the relationship between a pastor and the congregation is a partnership with mutual respect and support being essential for the health of the church. This Wednesday, who's going to rock with me? Oh, really? Hey, listen, if I get 40 of y'all out here, we'll let the other 60 stay home and act like they cooking, you know. But we're going to rock in here because holidays should not stop God's days. So we're going to come for one hour like I do on Zoom because I got to get some food ready too. So the praise team will sing. It will be the shortest prayer that Elder Ferguson has ever prayed in his life. And we will get right up and I will do it as if I was on Zoom. When I'm on Zoom, I stick to my notes. We say what we say. If you've ever been on our Zoom Bible studies, we're on in about, we're off and on in about an hour and 15 minutes. Done. I want us to stick with that so that people can make their uh, sweet potato pie the right way. Because the pie should be ready. Wednesday. Okay. And you that frowning, don't cook. Nobody care. Nobody cares if you don't cook. It's okay. Stop feeling so needed and learn to socialize. You're going to need a friend at your funeral. You're going to need somebody wishing you were still alive. Not happy that you're dead. All right, so I'm trying to get people who will miss me if God should call me. Please don't, but if He should, I want folk falling out. But I'm going to tell y'all if I'm in heaven with Jesus and I like it, I ain't coming back. So y'all just going to have to fall out. But if it's real and I'm there, He'd be like, My son, you want to go back? Nah, they all right. Because it ain't no guarantee you're going to make it the second time. All right. I want you to live as if you're dying. When I say that, live so that people will literally wish you were still here. Some of y'all change. Work on yourself. As I'm working on myself. I'm a real thug and I want to pay people back. I want to do crazy things to about five people. No, for real. See, you got to be real to say this. Hold that, hold that music. Ain't nothing nice about what I'm saying. 
and they don't know the real magnitude in which or who they are trespassing against. But to be saved the right way, you have to do certain things that pleases God that goes way beyond who you think you are. That takes a high level of discipline. Now, I see some folk over here acting deep. You should want it all gone. I do not. Because if you mess with me or my family, we're going to handle business. You're going to live. Because God don't say, thou, thou shalt not fight. He said, thou shalt not kill. So you're going to live. But you're going to live with something. But as my father Aaron Hall, who's living, showed mercy to so many that I wish he would have gotten because I was raised in Brownsville. I didn't understand his techniques or his behavior. As, as I get older, I'm asking God, make me more like him. Because the walk he walked, it was the walk of Christ. And the song my grandmama would sing was, may the works I've done. See, I don't hear to speak for me. As you get closer to God, you're going to have to put up with a little more than necessary. But when he gets you out of that cave, you're going to be the top dog in everything that you do. Look at somebody and tell my mom, my way to the top. I know the song is nothing can stop me. I'm on my way up. But nothing is going to stop me from going to the top. Dr. Mixon's going to come give closing words. I will get home in chance to see the second quarter of the Cowboy game, which don't matter, but I'm gone. Hold on. Who said really with a deep voice? That was Troy White? Yeah, all right. We'll see how your team do, too. Yeah, give me your elder's license back. No, no, I'm kidding. But I know we ain't going, but it's all good. But when you're a fan, you stick with them when they're free. And you stick with your team. That's a marriage for better or for worse. Rich or poor, sickness and health. And for most people, if you're married right till death, do us part. Amen. Did you enjoy service today? Dr. Mixon is coming.